It's hard to go wrong with a Toyota Corolla. How many times would we have to feature this car on our channel to make you believe that this model, especially the 10th generation, is the perfect car not just for daily use, but even for track applications? Project cars are simply living the stance life. Hindi rin katagalan ng huli tayo nag-feature ng Corolla Altis sa channel natin, and it's proven to be one of our most sought-after videos. I'm sure na alala nyo pa yun with its insane setup of air suspensions, uneven length headers, carbon fiber panels, and a banging exhaust systems. This time naman, we have what I consider to be the ideal look of a Corolla. Yes, it's beige, and yes, it's an automatic, but it's, this is the cleanest and most painstakingly faithful Toyota you will ever see. This is the 2010 Toyota Corolla Altis 1.6G. Yes, we have another Corolla. How many times would we have to feature a Toyota Corolla for you to believe me and understand us that if you are in the market for a used car, you can never go wrong with the car equivalent of blue jeans. Ang blue jeans nga naman ay parang Toyota Corolla na in a sense, pretty much goes with anything, whatever you want it to. Dependable, easy to maintain, inoffensive, and goes well with any purpose you wanted to have. While our first Corolla Altis was about going out and heading out to rock concerts and slamming it up in mosh pits, this other Corolla is all about keeping it mathematical. Car culture is all about putting your own personal stamp on things, but it's all about being one with a car scene. The styling of this generation's Toyota Corolla holds very well despite its age. Given that 2010 was just 10 years ago, but let that sink in for a moment. 2010 was 10 years ago. I bet you 50 bucks that you can count with one hand the number of couples that you're friends with who've had relationships as long as that. But if you compare the looks of this generation's Corolla with many of today's sedans, I can say that it can really hold on its own. Alright, so there's been some modifications done with this car, but all these mods are so tastefully done and subtle that it doesn't even lunge at you, like a single Tito on the prowl hanging out outside a college dorm rooms. There's a certain sense of restrained refinement on this car that just complements the mod so well. Now, much like the previously reviewed Honda Civic FB, the owner of this car chose to focus on what I believe is the most important characteristic of any car. Handling and suspension. Now from the ground up, it rides on these super rare Bridgestone downhill specials. They're extremely rare and comes in 17 by 7.5 sizes, which is perfect for the Toyota Corolla. These are light alloy wheels that are pretty much rare to find and are a great look on this car. Now for those not on the know, mags are a really great way to get you started in car customizations, but choosing the right set of wheels can be quite confusing. Now this gives me a great segue, I think, to give a quick shout out to one of our friends, RF Wheels. RF Wheels is your one-stop shop for all your tires and mag needs. They have a wide selection of wheels and tires from trusted and well-known brands such as Rota, Federal, and many more. You can ask them about their special line of Rampage off-road rigs for your trucks and SUVs. Visit their Facebook page for more information and tell them that Mototelic sent you and inquire about their special deals and easy installment plans. Further cementing its suspension setup are BC V1 coilovers. Now that lowers the car just right without having to slam the vehicle. Now this works in tandem with the Bridgestone mags to create a perfect fitment many of us crave, but find it really hard to achieve. Now the TRE strut bar in the engine bay ties down the front struts to further hold down the suspension and gives it a more aggressive cornering characteristic. So boys and girls, this holy trinity of wonderful suspension parts, wheels, coilovers and strut bars make your car ride like it were on rails and provides the Toyota Corolla an athletic stance that betrays the unassuming beige paint job. Part of what makes this particular Toyota Corolla so perfect is that Everything about it retains its stock looks. Thanks to Kian Saunders' catalog of lighting solutions, this Corolla shouldn't have any problems traversing the darkest roads, even at pitch dark areas. It helps that it also looks so cool even when the lights off. This Corolla also takes the side skirts and the grille from the 2 liter Corolla Altis. Topping it all off is a ducktail spoiler in the rear. 
But the thing about the Corolla is that it never pretends to be a sporty vehicle. There's just something about this car that lets you know that it is special. Corollas are still one of the brand's biggest sellers. Now, before the advent of the crossover SUVs, Corollas were the way to go. The choice of families who want a reliable, practical, and yet classy vehicle. Now, a huge part of that reliability lies under the hood. Under it lies the ever-reliable 3ZZ FE engine. Now, how does this differ from the other Corolla that we reviewed? You see, this generation of Toyota features a single VVTI, or Variable Valve Timing Intelligent Engine Timing System. You might be wondering, if it has one VVTI less than the newer 1ZZ FE engine, making this the inferior engine, right? Well, not exactly. Although this engine makes a little less macho cabayos than the uh, other one, it's the demeanor of those horses that matter. It makes 110 horses as compared to the 122, and torque is also significantly less, but the VVTI changeover is a little bit more aggressive and snaps more abruptly than the facelifted Corolla's 1.6 engine. You see, VVTI is pretty much Toyota speak for Honda's VTEC. And if you ask any other Honda fanboy, they will tell you that the VTEC and the 90 Civics, though older, with less tech, is far superior than the ones in the 2000s. Now, this engine is more open to revving higher than the uh, new version that tries to rein you in when you reach the upper RPMs. Unless, of course, you add some tuning management like this. You won't find any other engine modifications apart from the KNN cone filters fitted to a short ram intake that terminates to a Fujitsuba FGK exhaust in the back. And why would you? Part of the appeal of the Corolla has is its bulletproof nature. And the engine is the heart of that reputation. If you want a Corolla to start on the first time, every time, you leave that engine as Mr. Regular would say, first date clean. Speaking of clean, much like the car, Robbie, the owner, maintains a sense of calm and demeanor unlike your typical car guy. And so much like the car, every other step taken, part installed, sticker placed, is a well-calculated feat of restraint and planning. The interior doesn't go overboard either with beige leather seats. A stock steering wheel is retained, seven carefully tuned speakers and Tom's seat belt pads. That's it. The interior space of the Corolla is very inviting on its own. It beckons you to chill and relax while the driver carves in canyons and gets you over to the horizon. Now, Robbie got this car with 40,000 clicks on it, and 20,000 more kilometers later, it seems to be so much cleaner and smoother than it ever was when it was new. I hear a lot of hate coming from the general public and the uninitiated about other people's preferences with buying new cars over old ones. It's true that older cars are more difficult to maintain and keep clean, and Robbie knows that. But car ownership and everything else in life can't be taken lightly anyway. Yes, Toyotas are known to be bulletproof, but it requires effort. Even a tank will rust and break down with neglect. Now, perfection is not something you're born with. Everyone is born the same way, through chaos, blood, screams, and cries. It is what we choose to make ourselves and how we keep with the times that we earn this. No one is perfect for sure, but that doesn't give you the right to stop trying. 